And tonight, a murder investigation is underway in Duplin County. Investigators found two people shot over the weekend, one of them surviving with non-life-threatening injuries. Our Maya Cruz is live tonight at the Duplin County Sheriff's Office, where she went door to door to find out more information. Maya, are there any updates? Val, as of now, there are no updates and zero arrests have been made in this investigation. However, I did go back to the crime scene listed in this police report, and I want you to take a listen as one of the neighbors describes what he remembers from Saturday night. Police cars everywhere, ambulances, probably about 10 or 12 police cars were over there. Like, it was like Christmas. <laughs> Lonnie Acock has been living off Shine Road in the town of Faison since 1995. He describes the area as quiet and calm, but says this past weekend was the complete opposite. You know, we was at the house and we hear like a several shots like, like the army, boom, 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 like that. And I said, like, what in the world? Acock and his wife were asleep Saturday night when they heard several shots outside of this home on 130 Shine Road where Duplin County Sheriff's Office discovered 42-year-old Latanya Corbett and 65-year-old Russell Hines had both been shot, with Corbett dying at the scene. It's the most major thing we've seen down this way. Acock says he was familiar with both victims and that Corbett visited the home often. As unfortunate as this is, Acock says he has something to be grateful for. I'm just so thankful that it didn't come our way, you know. We was in the house. I did knock on the door of the home, but no one was there. And this is a story that WCTI will continue to follow and continue to keep you updated on. Live in Duplin County, I'm Maya Cruz, News 12.